there, it's Andrew from BackcountrySkiCanada.com. Here today just to tell you a little bit about the uh, Dinafit Breathe DTS jacket. It uh, comes in bone and black, and this here is the bone color, which is a bit of an issue because it gets dirty quickly, but uh, took this jacket up to Rogers Pass on warm days, and it really, really performed well. There's some crazy features here that I'll tell you about quickly, just let me take my pack off. Um, first of all, the real crowd pleaser, these pockets. They say they're suitable for skins, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know if a, a full pair of skins would fit in there, but well, with, with that skins as they are today. But you can put a little snack in there, you know, and then people can look and see what's in your pockets. It's pretty fun. Um, what else? No hood, but it's got this stylish, stylish collar here, as you can see. Open it up. Got the handy Alpine emergency signal thing here. This jacket is it's European, which is um, which is cool. Like you wouldn't see this in a jacket in, in North America. What else can I say? Oh, the mesh on the back. See that? This is super great if you have a uh, if you're wearing a pack. It's um, it breathes super well. There's also about 12 different fabrics on this jacket. This is waterproof, this is super porous, and this is kind of a soft shell thing. So literally, you know, if I counted, there probably would be 12 different fabrics on this. Um, all in all, it's a jacket, uh, not necessarily an all around jacket, but a jacket for very specific use. I would wear this jacket uh, in warmer temperatures when I was really uh, working. I mean, it might be more appropriate for a, a ski mountaineering racer or something like that. But uh, I love it, and I'm gonna continue to wear it. What's that? The Dynafit DTS Breathe Jacket, as reviewed on backcountryskiingcanada.com. If you wanna check out any other reviews, trip reports, uh, other interesting stuff, go to backcountryskiingcanada.com. Thanks for watching.